welcome all good evening everyone so let us begin with today's class so today we are going to talk about another interesting topic of biochemistry and that is enzyme inhibition so are you ready guys okay so as we say in the starting let's let's crack neat pg together before beginning with today's topic let us have a quick introduction about an academy so first of all about me i am your educator farida johar bandukwala and i am pursuing my phd in biotechnology i have a teaching experience of 9 years in the field of biochemistry molecular biology and microbiology okay so an academy is india's largest platform for the preparation kind of competitive exams and an academy has got the best educators all over india so these are some of the very best educators which you will get at an academy and with the best educators you can prepare best for your examination then with an academy it is very one to one interaction with the faculties in the special class you can directly chat with your faculty you can ask them questions you can get your doubts cleared then there are free mock tests weekly tests so that you can regularly evaluate evaluate how much you have learned as i always say that doing the mc evaluation of what you have learned is the most critical part of any kind of preparation for the examination then it is one of the most easy way to prepare for the examination because in today's time when everyone is unable to move from any place then an academy is serving as one of the best place where one can perform its one can perform their preparation just a second yeah and there is a very flexibility in the timing so that you can just take your lectures any time from the recorded lectures you can opt for the language of your choice there are many educators who teach in regional languages that is one of the more aided uh benef benefit then if you have gone through one of the lecture one time then there is lecture and there are many quizzes which you can attempt more than n number of times so unlimited practice is available now there are so many uh, classroom like uh, interfaces like you can chat with your educator you will be asked questions like an a normal interactive class there are interactive polls that you can answer the questions and you can even understand how many percent of the students they are giving right answer where the doubts are created in the options how two options are complicated or overlapping with each other and another most important thing is you can learn any time anywhere okay so these are the benefits of your an academy platform it's like classroom like feeling only you won't be feeling anything different from a normal classroom then uh, you can easily download the app just go to play store type an academy and you will be getting a logo of an academy very easy uh, then there are some plus subscriptions which can be very beneficial for your preparation because on plus subscription you will get the whole syllabus in a very systematic manner and for all the upcoming exams there are uh, crash courses short term courses which they design according to the upcoming exam and its pattern so you can just go to the plus subscription and take the plus subscription and the plus subscription is um with a little uh, with a small uh, subscription charge the subscription charges are very minimum so they are very pocket friendly these are the subscription charges some of them it is my personal suggestion that go for a yearly or a two yearly uh, plus subscription so that you can make the best 
out of all of the available content on the platform because it has got immense amount of platform if you are unable to understand one of the faculty you can directly go to some other faculty and you can uh, see the topic there are so many option choices choices that you uh, will be getting at plus subscription so just go for a 12 monthly or 24 monthly plus subscription then uh, they are reasonable also they are uh, comparatively reasonable as compared to one monthly three monthly and six monthly then another thing is that in this plus subscription you will be getting a 10 percent discount if you if you will be using my subscription code or a referral code that is fb01 so just use this code and avail an additional 10 percent discount like if the subscription fees is 33,898 then the subscription charges by using the referral code will become 30,508 so there is a respectable difference in the amount that you will be paying after using my referral code so that just remember my referral code that is FB01 and avail the discount and go for the plus subscription it will be immensely helpful in your preparation okay so let us begin with today's class and as we said or we learned in the starting of the class that we are going to study enzyme inhibition so enzyme inhibition will be dealt under following topics competitive inhibition non-competitive inhibition then suicide inhibition then allosteric inhibition this we will be seeing in uh, another lecture and feedback inhibition because allosteric inhibition or allosteric mechanism itself is something quite complicated thing so we'll be dealing allosteric inhibition and isozymes in uh, other lecture here we'll be talking about competitive inhibition non-competitive inhibition uncompetitive inhibition suicide inhibition and feed feedback inhibition so types of enzyme inhibition whenever there is an enzyme and an, and its activity is obstructed with the help of some other molecule it is called as enzyme inhibition when your enzyme is unable to perform its full activity because of addition of or joining of some outside material which is not normal to its structure then it will lead to inhibition right your enzyme is unable to perform its function coming directly to the first topic that is competitive inhibition right as i told you we'll be dealing competitive non-competitive and uncompetitive so what is this competitive inhibition and what all are the things uh, let us just see competitive inhibition so in competitive inhibition what will happen that this is your enzyme enzyme and this is your substrate this is your enzyme and this is your inhibitor so the shape of substrate and inhibitor is almost similar they are almost similar so they both will be competing for this active site this is your active site active site so they both will try to occupy that active site so this is what happens in competitive inhibition and they will whichever substance will have will be having higher concentration will join here at the active site and it will give rise to enzyme substrate complex or enzyme inhibitor complex here just imagine if the, it has joined inhibitor so it will make enzyme inhibitor complex now competitive inhibition is it falling into the category of reversible inhibition or is it falling in the category of irreversible inhibition the two types of the inhibitions so competitive inhibition is falling in the category of reversible inhibition it is a kind of reversible inhibition competitive inhibition is a kind of reversible inhibition they will be competing with each other and whichever thing will be having a higher concentration will occupy that space so this is how what happens in competitive inhibition now what about your Michaelis maintained curve how will it change so here we have taken a picture of a graph and this y-axis denotes velocity 
and x axis denotes the substrate concentration right velocity and substrate concentration so this black line is with inhibitor and your red line is with your uh, without inhibitor so this red line is making a very perfect hyperbola isn't it and with the inhibitor it is somewhere somewhat like a straight line not that perfect hyperbola so what will be the changes in the uh, km value and vmax value that this is the most important thing which will be asked in the exams most of the questions which were asked in previous years examination and if you will go through the mcqs of your enzyme inhibition they'll be based on the value of km and vmax how the km and vmax changes when it is competitive when it is um, non competitive or when it is uncompetitive this will be the most important point where the questions will be asked if you will understand this concept then all of the questions can be very easily solved right all of the question remember in your mind when you are reading enzyme inhibition enzyme inhibition just go for understanding km value and vmax value right so what will happen if enzyme binds with inhibition